Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, I have a new series I'm going to do between now and Valentine's Day. And every day I'm going to be doing a relationship or a love reading on uh, famous couples, uh, not only royals, on some of the big celebrities that are out and about right now. And how you do this reading is you put the King of Cups and Queen of Cups, it doesn't matter what their astrological is, it's this is the couple because that's the King of Hearts and the Queen of Hearts. So this is their emotional love connection. Um, not talking too much about their passion or about their uh, financial or earthly needs or wants. Let's just see where they are in their heart with their relationship. So one of the first couples I'm going to do is Travis, um, the football player. <laughs> That's how much I know about it. I don't even know uh, his last name, Kel Kelsey, Kelchi, uh, and Taylor Swift. They're huge in the news. They're everywhere right now. But what is their emotional connection really like? Are they soulmates, for example? Is this just a fling? Is this just a... Um, you know, friends with benefits. Who knows? Let's find out. So on Travis's side, where he, of course, he's the king of cups, might be the king of Super Bowl cups. And um, there we have uh, Taylor. She's the queen of cups. And of course, she just won an award at the Grammys as well. But that has nothing to do with why I use these as indicators. This is king and queen of hearts. This is how is your heart connection? Are you soulmates? Or is this just a one-off? Is this just two people having a good time with each other? Um, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Or let's connect and uh, make a family. Let's see what's going on with Taylor and Travis. T and T, as they like to dub themselves. Uh, T and T, Travis and Taylor Swift. What's their emotional connection? Are they soulmates? Cards are ready. Okay, the big connection through them. Oh, Seven of Wands, very passionate, very passionate. They've actually had to put up with a lot of people uh, naysaying them, and they've, and they've taken the high ground, and they're trying to do what's best. And actually, um, as I, I think I've seen some stuff that Taylor's get taking a lot of grief for showing up at the games and distracting and uh, taking away from the game, et cetera, et cetera. Um, or, you know, they're not really real. They, they have had a lot of things poking at them. They have been taking the high road with that, though. Almost a never complain, never explain type of stance and just going on and doing what they're doing. So for Travis, the magician... You know what, in some respects, it, listen, he's a, a fantastic athlete in his own right at the top of his game. Um, but when it comes to um, career, he is kind of punching above his weight a little bit with Taylor. Uh, I mean, she's doing a billion dollar around the world tour. Uh, she, look, at she just won record breaking fourth Grammy, et cetera, et cetera. Again, not to take anything away from Travis, but he is dazzling her a little bit. He is definitely dazzling her a little bit and showing the potential that he has. Um, you know, so we might only make 400 million this year, but guess what? We could probably make another billion next year. I don't know how much he makes. I'm just making that up. Let's see. Oh, Queen of Swords. Well, she's the queen of words, isn't she? The songs that she writes. And she has been through a few uh, long-term relationships that have ended. And when she ends them, she writes you in a song. <laughs> So she is the queen of words with her songwriting. Um, also, swore, swords are is singing. It is the voice. It is uh, whatever's put out into the air, communication. Uh, so isn't this interesting? He's the magician, um, you know, scoring. I was going to say scoring goals. They don't score goals in football. Um, you know, he, you know, creates the game kind of thing. And here she is, the queen of swords. Uh, she has been done wrong and uh, she sings about it and she's the queen of words. 
and what's in between them here. Um, you know what? This is interesting that we have the nine of wands upright. Um, I think that, and Travis has actually come out and said, they've actually been a couple for longer than indicated. And this, this nine of wands tells me this. They had to maybe... Um, uh, you know, do a couple of texts back and forth, calls back and forth, uh, chatting back and forth. Um, and it became more and more and more passionate. Also, it's interesting, it's under the seven that they have to defend themselves. And then finally, they were allowed to come out and uh, as a couple. And interesting, this is red, Kansas City. Of course, their colors are red. Um, and, it, and it, there is something here that they wanted to keep quiet for quite a while. I'm thinking at least nine months. And Travis has indicated that, that they've actually been in touch and in contact. And this relationship has been percolating beneath the surface for some time now. Um, and they came out, they were embattled a little bit. Um, that they weren't sure how the public would take it, for example. And in some respects, they were right that uh, they would be called out as a distraction uh, to Travis's football career because sport, wands are sports in the football career, just as swords would be her singing career. And uh, this, this Kansas City chief guy is looking towards Travis. So they actually kept that under their... Um, underground uh, for that reason. How would it look? How would it interfere with his work? Burden. Um, it's this, this relationship is somewhat of a burden to Travis. Uh, and again, this, that might, might dissipate after the, um, after the, the Super Bowl. Uh, but this relationship is somewhat of a burden. Also, Travis has a uh, an ex who is an, a who is a burden. So I'm not sure. Does he have like children from another relationship? Uh, does he have a relationship that's causing him problems? Uh, perhaps under cover that we aren't aware of um, a stalking situation or harassment or or even a threat to let to have something um, released out in public. And this would be from an ex. So that's what Travis is dealing with. And that could have something to do with why they kept it under wraps for a while. Was Travis seeing somebody else for a while? Um, there's definitely here something, some kind of burden with an ex. I don't believe he has children. I don't believe that, but he possibly, um, as a successful athlete, uh, possibly has a, an ex that uh, is causing him some some troubles. Temperance. Well, this is her as a Sagittarius. Um, and she's trying to balance things as well. Um, she's got one foot in her career, one foot in with this relationship. And she's flying um, all around the world to be with Travis. Travis is flying around the world to be with her. Right now, they're really trying to balance things out. Um, but in this relationship, she's allowed to be who she wants to be. As, as she's a Sagittarius and this is the Sagittarius card. So this tells me she's allowed to be who she wants to be in this relationship. Um, this is, is very balancing for her. And uh, she has a good handle on, um, uh, let's just say they aren't tied to each other's uh, ways. Uh, they have a really good balance between work and relationship, at least in, uh, in Taylor's mind. Now, we have seven of cups. I think there's some, some gaslighting going on with this relationship. Um, they, may, they both may be using it a little bit to their advantage. Um, they're, uh, um, yeah, a lot of uh, confusion of choice here. Um, you know, once in a while we hear, oh, who's going to be at this game? Who's going to be at that? And I think a lot of this confusion is trying to keep us on our toes to keep, keep the story interesting. I think there's things that they do on purpose to keep this story interesting, to keep it in the public eye. As they say, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Ah, you know what? I'm not too sure that Travis is all into this relationship, to tell you the truth. Um, it, uh, 
you know, it's interesting. We aren't getting like the two of cups or the ace of cups or we're getting like a burden and we're getting a work relationship going here. And we've got like um, choices and almost like that, like I say, confusion. I'm all of a sudden seeing popcorn here. It's like we're all watching and eating our popcorn. What's going to happen next in this relationship? And I think that's the way they like it. Um, there's a, there could be a little bit of publicity with this. Also, this could be that maybe Travis has had to block this relationship out for this weekend, the Super Bowl coming up, and just concentrate on himself um, and not worry about the relationship whatsoever. As we saw, he didn't show up at the Grammys to support uh, Taylor, but Taylor's flying, you know, from midnight right after her show in Tokyo to support him, Mike. Um, maybe he, maybe they won't even see each other before the game, and I'm guessing not. The star, well, she's the star. What did I just say? Um, she is the star of the show. I have to cover up her boobies. Um, not that I'm a prude. It says YouTube wants me to. Uh, she's the star of the show. She's the star. It's it's mostly about Taylor. Um, I can guarantee you, a lot of the Swifties are called. Wouldn't have even heard of this. NFL player if it wasn't for Taylor. Um, she's the star in the show. Um, it's looking like she is ruling this relationship right now. Um, everything is about Taylor and about what it does for Taylor. Um, in some respects, this, this relationship um, is going to bring a lot of peace of mind to both of them, just smooth things out. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a little bit rocky right now. Um, you know, you can't be that intense, that passionate. Like you, uh, sooner or later, you run from the fire pan into the fire. And I, I'm thinking after this weekend, uh, things are going to calm down a lot for them. Uh, but they're definitely in. They're they're in kind of a rocky spot right now. Um, there could be some miscommunications. Uh, there could be uh, some distractions going on, uh, but soon enough, they'll be uh, back on, on smooth sailing. Listen, I think we have six of cups here. Um, is this a faded relationship? I don't know. How did they meet? How did they meet? Have they known each other for a very long time? Um, or do, do they have siblings that have known each other for a very long time? Um, this is almost a faded relationship. Um, uh, you know, uh, I was listening to another psychic and she believes they are just, this is all an act and that they in fact have not they don't have a passionate relationship, and I don't see that here either. As a matter of fact, I see like they're more like brother and sister, uh, and not in a creepy way, if you know what I mean, without getting zapped by YouTube. Um, let's see. The hanged man. The hanged man on, on Taylor's. Again, I'm not getting two cups. I'm not getting... Taylor might become pregnant. The hangman can sometimes be my pregnancy card that for nine months you are, you, um, you just, you're pregnant. You, you a lot of things you want to do, you can't do, um, you know, it's just more or less about the baby than you. All of a sudden you can't drink, it, you know, if you're a smoker, you quit smoking, perhaps, um, you know, if you run marathons, perhaps you can't. Um, you know, there's, you just have a lot of restrictions, um, you know, based just because you're pregnant. No, I'm not saying all women do that, but there are a lot of things that you just simply can't do, like bend down in stilettos, um, you know, because you're, you're pregnant. I wouldn't be surprised. And I think I read on this a couple of months ago that Taylor becomes pregnant, that Taylor becomes pregnant, a uh, night of rods. Well, that's him as a sports person. Um, I know, isn't that funny? I just said they're more like brother and sister, but not in a weird way that she becomes pregnant. Um, this could be like a love, like a brother and sister 
perhaps, maybe perhaps they have like a night of passion. That's the night of rods, the night of wands is, is wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Um, and it's looking at Taylor, where some of the other ones were looking at Travis. Um, also, the Knight of Rods is also Sagittarius. Um, and they, you know, they call the Sagittarius the Bachelor or the Bachelorette of the, um, of the Zodiac. They, it, 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 being married isn't really high on their list of priorities. There's a lot of great married Sagittarians, of course. But it's not um, really high on their list of priorities, as for example, uh, Libra. Right, they're the marriage house. Um, the the Sagittarian houses travel, um, freedom, um, marriage. Just is it's, like if it happens, great. If it's if it doesn't happen, great. They're they're really ambivalent about marriage. Um, I'm wondering if this is not a long term relationship. Knight of Rods is not long-term. Uh, we do not see uh, Ace of Cups. We don't see the Two of Cups. We we have Six of Cups here, which tells me this is more like a brother and sister of love. Like they deeply care for each other. Um, but I'm thinking they're both in it. What can it do for me? The Hermit. He Yeah, he's definitely... Um, He's not thinking of partnership at all. The hermit is not. They'd rather just go off and be by themselves. This was a kind of a nice distraction. Um, he actually may be worried about Taylor writing about them. If they do break up, that could be the Ten of Wands as well. He's absolutely not interested in, in this as a long-term um, relationship. Um He'd rather just go off and do his own thing. This is kind of a nice distraction. I forgot to look up and see what sign he is. The only reason I know it's Taylor's sign is because I have a friend born on the same day, and, and she made sure she pointed that out to me. The High Priestess. It, we got the two most single cards in the deck here. Um, the High Priestess with her secrets. Um, I don't see any marriage cards here whatsoever, the lovers, look at that, the lovers, that's all they are, they are, um, uh, let's see, what's the underline here, yeah, you know what, eight of wands, this is a fast-moving, um, exciting relationship that absolutely does have an ending to it, um, normally when I do a love reading, I see where that eight is going to land. So let's see, where is that eight going to land? Is it going to land in the end or is it going to land in marriage? What's that eight going to land on, please? Wheel of Fortune. Huh. You know what? They could ride this out for quite a while until it doesn't benefit either one of them anymore. But I'm getting this is more of a monetary, this Wheel of Fortune isn't love. This is, uh, we are riding high right now. Here they are, the King and Queen of Cups, the Queen and King of Harps. They're having a great time. Sooner or later, that wheel is going to turn and that will be the end of that. Um, also, X10, uh, which is endings. Um, I think this is going to be a fast and furious relationship and they're both going to end up um, alone um, without each other. I don't see a lot of love here at all. I see just two kids having a great time, possibly could end up with a pregnancy. I don't even see them married after that. I honestly don't. Um, if anything, I could see Travis... Um, I'm not going to say he's going to take off, um, not wanting to really have a lot to do with it, or it could even be, um, Taylor saying, uh, I'll do this by myself. I'm, I'm on my own with this. I'll do this by myself. And I'm going to write a couple of songs about you and the baby. Uh, but yeah, this is a, uh, uh, a wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, they're just really enjoying each other right now. And and let, let and so be it and so be it there it's their time in the sun as we say
All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me. If you appreciated this, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and you know what? Subscribe if you want to see more. I've got more celebrities coming up. I've got royals coming up. I'm going to be doing this right up until Valentine's Day. Uh, let me know what you think of this reading. Thank you for watching. I sure appreciate you. Take good care. See you online. Bye for now. Mm-hmm. <laughs>